हेलो दिस इज अदिप टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर टिबियो फिमोरल अलाइनमेंट एंड वेट बैरिंग फोर्सेस रेफरेंस बुक फॉर दिस वीडियो इज जॉइंट स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन सिंथियान ऑर्किन्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज टू लर्न फिजियोलॉजिकल वैल सिंगल लेग स्टैंड एंड वैलगस एंड वायरस फोर्सेस ऑन द नी जॉइंट सो टू बिगिन विथ वॉट इज टिबियो फिमोरल अलाइनमेंट In a normal human being, tibia is vertical and femur is slightly medially angled. So the angle formed between the vertical line of the tibia and slightly angled line of the femur, that angle is called as the tibiofemoral angle, which is five to seven degree. So this is called as a normal physiological angle. So this is a very important MCQ question. that is the 5 to 7 degree very important to remember now going to the bilateral stance when a person stands on both his feet uh, this angle does not create any problem in a human being but if you go unilateral stance there is increased medial compressive forces so in the medial compartment of the knee joint there will be increased compressive forces and in the lateral compartment of the knee joint there will be increased distractive forces this will get exaggerated if your proximal muscles are weakened so it is a very important um, aspect of biomechanics of the knee joint now going to the pathology side when this angle uh, that is the normal physiological angle increases above the upper limit that is the 7 degree more than 7 degree it is called as genu valgum or knock knees so what happens in knock knees is there is increase in the physiological angle and this can be caused due to many reasons one of the reasons would be adductor tightness in cerebral palsy or adductor spasticity in cerebral palsy so if the adductors over here are tight the muscles adductors are tight they will pull the femur inward and this will cause genu valgum obesity is also correlated with genu valgum or knock knees other reason is hip abductor weakness this is a very important topic so if the hip abductors which are attached over here at the side if these are weak normally what the hip abductors do is they keep the femur abducted but if these are weak the femur will go into adduction and this can cause genu valgum or knock knees other reason for knock knees is also rickets now moving to the other side that is genu varum or bow leg here what happens is the angle is reduced below 5 degree that is this angle over here between the femur and tibia is less than 5 degree so the common reason for genu varum or bow leg this is called as bow leg because it's bow shaped over here see the common reason for genu varum is arthritis mostly uh, occurs on medial side like the wear and tear of the joint happens on the medial side and it is also called uh, caused by rickets now moving to the treatment of the of these two conditions you can give lateral or medial wedge that is lateral wedge if it's genu varum because there is increased compressive forces over here see so when you give a lateral wedge what will happen is there will be increased compressive forces on the lateral side and distractive forces which will balance out the improper force distribution and same way for genu valgum you will give a medial wedge which will again give compressive forces on the medial side and distractive forces on the lateral side which will again balance out the forces apart from this knee brace can also be given for arthritic knee to support so these solutions would be purely for a arthritic patient but not for a patient who has abdu uh, adductor tightness or abductor weakness also i would like to mention about genu recurvatum that is the increased extension of the knee and also functional valgus so what is functional valgus uh, you might see a person who has normal knees in standing position 
but when he goes into squatting he you will see that the knee goes for valgus so that is called as the uh, functional valgus so to summarize we started with the physiological valgus that is 5 to 7 degree normal physiological angle then we went to single extens which increases the compressive forces in the medial compartment and distractive forces in the lateral compartment and then we went to the valgus and varus genu valgus and genu varum where uh, we uh, learned the increase in angle and decrease in angle a uh, nice way to remember genu valgum would be gum so if you imagine a gum over here sticking both the legs together that would be genu valgum and genu varum genu varum would be rum bottle over here a rum bottle you can imagine which keeps the legs apart if you like the content don't forget to share like and subscribe the channel do let me know in the comment section what other topics you would like me to cover i never made it but i know i